Hey everyone, and welcome back to my channel. It's Brian here, the UK Bitcoin master. Great to be with you all again. Uh, today is Thursday, the 14th of June, 2018. And as always, before these, we start the show, pound that like button, share this video, subscribe to the channel, and let's get that message out there. Um, please do follow me on Twitter at UK Bitcoin Master. You can also follow me on a cryptocurrency social media platform called Steemit at Buzz27, as well as an alternative YouTube channel I'm using called DTube, again at Buzz27. So, as I've already said, today is uh, Thursday, the 14th of June 2018, and I just cannot believe where the year is going. It is absolutely racing, boy. Um, so, what am I going to talk to you all about today? Well, I guess I want to talk about the Bitcoin price, which I don't normally do. And the reason I want to talk about the price is because being in this space just about a year and a bit that I have, here's what I've noticed. Most people listen to the mainstream media. So when the mainstream media tell us to do something, the masses go and follow them. Uh, whether that's doom or whether it's positive. And as far as Bitcoin goes, if you are a Bitcoin hodler, if you are a, 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 you know, a, a long-term thinker, 2020 halving at the very, very earliest, the ups and downs, the highs and lows of the Bitcoin price shouldn't matter. Now, why do I say that? Because, you know, the 80 percenters, they go into a blind spin when the price drops and they start thinking, oh, my God, I need to sell. This is the end. It's crashing. It's never going to come back. Now, <clears throat> I'm in danger of just talking about an individual too much, but I have to. The guy that I've been following ever since I got into the space the most and watched every single one of his videos since I've been in the space is Adam Meister, the Bitcoin, the Bitcoin Meister. And the reason I'm using Adam's name again is simple, because on all of his videos, he talks about being in the space since 2013, you know, and the highs and the lows and how people sold their Bitcoin because it was going down and then it went up and they could never recover and get back into the, the space again. You know, in 2013, he was talking about it went up to $1,100 and I think it crashed all the way back to $200. Now, if you take 1100 to 200 you know, forget 2018 or even 2017, you know, you could freak out thinking, oh, that's it, it's the end, it's gone, it's, you know, it's the end. But, you know, if you take 1100 or 200 from 2013, and we start talking of 6,500 in 2018, it's and it's low, you know, that could go two, three, four, five X by the end of this year. So the point I'm making is if you are buying Bitcoin as an investment, as a long term strategy, you're going to need to let go of the emotion of when it goes down because it's going to go down. But I liken the Bitcoin growth curve, if you will, as taking five steps to forward and then three steps back. You're still two steps forward. So you take another five steps forward, another two steps back. You're still four steps forward overall. The point I'm making is, you know, even when I bought my Bitcoin last year at £1,500, you know, even today with it crashing right back from 20,000 to, <clears throat> I don't know what it is, about 4,700, 4,800 at the moment, you know, that is still, you know, 3x what I paid for it. So I'm holding, the emotion's gone, I don't watch the charts, okay? And you shouldn't too. Buy your Bitcoin, store it on your Trezor, and then wait out the 2020 halving, or the 2024 halving, or the 2028 halving, and you'll be in really, really good shape. Um, so, so Adam was mentioning on a recent video of his, it's not just 2013, it happened again in 2014, it happened in 2015. 
It happened for me in 2017 stroke 18. In 2017, one Bitcoin hit $20,000 on the 17th of December last year. And now it's crashed back to between six and $7,000. But I don't care. I am totally confident that once it goes back on its bull market, and we'll talk of bulls and bears in a second, then it will charge back up and it will smash through 20K and maybe two or three X that. So it's no good moaning when it flies up again, saying, oh, I can't afford Bitcoin. I wish I'd have got in now. I was talking to people you know, about getting into Bitcoin when it was 20,000 and they were saying, ah, oh, it's too expensive, it's too expensive. Well, it's not too expensive now, is it? At six and a half thousand, particularly if you invest that and then it climbs up to 30,000, 40,000. So, you know, Adam was saying that, you know, in the early days of his, you know, Bitcoin career, let's say, um, there was a bear market for about two years where it just didn't go up. Well, of course, all the mainstream were negative about Bitcoin. Nobody was commenting or championing Bitcoin. It was just quiet. And then the bear market ended and the bull market started and it gathered momentum. So what happens? The mainstream start jumping all over it again. Well, by the time the mainstream have started jumping all over it, for the, the ordinary people looking to invest, it is too late. It, the price has climbed massively again. So you've got to be getting into Bitcoin whilst the mainstream are negative on it. And then it will go up. And when they're positive, positive about it, you are going to be in a good place with your Bitcoin. So we're in a bear market at the moment. It means it's just not going. And actually, it's not even a bear market, guys. A bear market is where something's going down. You know, Bitcoin's been hovering around seven, eight thousand for months. So it's a sideways market, really. I don't even know if that's real terminology, actually, but it's just going sideways. It goes up and it goes down. And it's just gently bobbing along. But it is going to go again. And when it goes and it goes through the bull run again, i.e. it's charging and it's going up, you do not want to miss, miss that boat. You know, I got into Bitcoin mid-2017, not long after the halving of 2016. And of course, it had already climbed. Well, we've got another halving coming up in 2020 in May. And of course, as the lead up to that, it will grow like crazy if it follows the, the recent halvings that have gone before. So I'm encouraging you get into Bitcoin, buy some. Now, here's the challenge. One of the things I also wanted to talk about was Coinbase. You know, love them or hate them, centralised now, the government want to know all your details so they can tax you if you trade and all that stuff. Most people start out in crypto by setting up a Coinbase account, linking it to their bank account and going in and buying some Bitcoin. But here's the problem. If you don't understand why Bitcoin is the king, Bitcoin is the rock and Bitcoin is what underpins all the other coins, it is easy for a newbie to go on to Coinbase and see Bitcoin, Bcash or BCH and not BTC. OK, Litecoin um, and these other coins that are now on there and think I'll get a cheaper version of Bitcoin. Don't do it. Get a smaller amount of Bitcoin because Bitcoin is the rock. It is the one that underpins all others. The other thing to consider before you even buy any other coin, even if you're considering it, Unless you've bought a bit of Bitcoin and moved it from wallet to wallet and got used to that, you shouldn't even be touching any of the alternative coins. Get some Bitcoin. I don't care if it's 20 quid's worth, 50 quid, 100 quid. Get some Bitcoin. Learn how to move it from Coinbase onto a Trezor if you get one. Learn how to move it onto an exchange and then back again, so that you can get familiar with the process, because the amount of newbies that go and buy some Bitcoin and send it to a Bcash address, and it's a nightmare trying to overturn it. They charge your fees as well. Just buy some Bitcoin, guys. It's all you're ever going to hear me talk about on my show. Buy 
hold Bitcoin for the long term. So that is my show for today. Uh, buy and hold. Learn how to move some Bitcoin from wallet to wallet. Practice that. Buy a trezor. You know, value your Bitcoin enough to have a trezor to store it on so it's safe. Protect your private keys from your trezor and your recovery seed. And that is your set of words that you've written down on a card that, that comes with a trezor. So that if you lose your trezor, if it's in a fire, if it's dropped in water, somebody steals it. As long as you've got your seed, all those words, you can always recover your Bitcoin. So that is the show for today, guys. As always, please like this video share the video, subscribe to my channel, um, follow me on Twitter at UK Bitcoin Master, steam it at Buzz27, DTube um, at Buzz27. And until my next video, we're leading up to the weekend. So whatever you're doing, have a fantastic week, you all, weekend, you all, and I'll catch you early next week. Take care, everyone. Have yourselves a fantastic Bitcoin day.